Round 16 of Super Rugby is done. If you want to know what happened and have a little bit of a recap, check out this video. Welcome back to Skinny Brew Rugby guys. Over the weekend I hit 100 subscribers. I did properly thank you in another video which I will link up here and I also discussed what my future plans are for the channel. But just yet again, thanks to everyone which has subscribed. You guys are the guys that has been keeping this channel alive. It wasn't the best weekend on Super Brew for everyone uh, with a few upsets in the predictor pools though. Uh, on Fantasy, most of us went okay in that game. The winner of the weekend, Jock DJ, and the leader is still Mitch. So some teams really surprised us in this week. The Chiefs getting a victory over the Crusaders, but for them they weren't really just standout players who were excellent if you compare them to other performances of other teams. Um, they ha more ha had a really good uh, team effort and not just an in individual. Here's my team for round 16. The front row, all Lions, Dylan Smith, Carlo Sadi and Marks, they just obliterated the Stormers scrum who has two Springbok props in that game. Dylan Smith, he got 13 on Superbrew, he made 12 meters from 8 carries. Then Carlo Sadi, 12.5, he had proper prop stats with 1 meter ran from 8 carries. Another guy that really stood out at the prop though, Alan Alalatoa, I have to say, he also scrummed really well against the Sunwolves. Marks, 22 on Superbrew, he made 8 tackles, 2 turnovers as always, he ran 22 meters and also had 6 carries. Creevy did also stand out for Aguares, but Marks' stats were a little bit better. Then Scott Barrett, 17.5. He ran a massive 40 meter try in the game against the Chiefs. Um, one try, 63 meters. Like I said, most of those meters coming from a massive run from him for a try. Uh, from five carries, one clean break and 10 tackles. The guy that also stood out, Archeus Neyman, 12.5 on Superbrew. He's just brutal with ball and in hand. And he made 11 tackles in this game missing only one and also making a turnover winning six line outs and having one line out steal another guy that really stood out in the locks Parete from the Chiefs I think it's one of his best games I've seen him play he really stood out in the Chiefs' game then Savea from the Hurricanes 17.5 he made 41 meters from nine carries and tackling 10 times Lezana from the Aguares also stood out, but his stats were just a little bit lower than the other two guys in the loose forwards. Dan Priya, he got 17.5 on Superbrew from 16 meters and 10 carries, two defenders beaten and one clean break. He had a very good game for the Sharks. Pete Samu again um, put up his hand for the Wallaby selectors. He got 18 on Superbrew, scoring one try from 31 meters and eight carries, um, beating two defenders and one clean break with his five tackles as well. The scrum off from the Jaguares, he got 16 on Superbrew Escura. Um, it's his first try he scored in that game as far as I have it. He ran 19 meters and he only had four carries and he beat two defenders. What also stood out for him, he tackled 10 times in that game. He does not stand back for the big guys and he also gets into, into it. Weber from the Chiefs also stood out. He was very influential, but Escura's stats were a bit better. Bowden Barrett then again, 29.5. I predicted before this week that he will stand out and that he will play well for, from his two games he had off before this game. He made two try assists in this game, um, three conversions and also three penalties, which he doesn't get a lot of. Debrosini from the Chiefs also stood out, but his um, stats were a bit lower than Barrett. Laomape, 19 on Superbrew. He had a better game again with Bowden Barrett being on his inside. Um, one try, 
63 meters from five carries and having two clean breaks as well. Anton Leonard Brown or ALB as other people call him, he was massively in influential in their game, um, getting 12.5 on Superbrew. He also made six tackles and he really just stood out on attack with 59 meters from 15 carries. He always had the ball. The Yankees on the wing, he got 21. It's one of his best games against a very poor Stormers defense. Scoring one try, 69 meters, nine carries, four defenders beaten and two clean breaks. Something he just really needs to work on is his defense and I've said this since the start of his Springbok career. He missed, oh he made two tackles and missed four. So his defense is not good. Then Carreras from the Jaguares as well, 25.5. He got his first try as well as far as I have it in Super Rugby. Um, he scored sub subsequently two tries in that game with one defender beaten and two clean breaks. The Jaguars just always get new wings that's just better than the ones they have. Uh, that's very good for them. They have a lot of good potential in that country. 96 meters for him from eight carries. Correa Betty, he also stood out but I did not pick him. His stats were a little bit worse than the other guys I did pick. And Stevenson from the Chiefs, he also had a good game. At the fullback, Ale Malo, it couldn't have been anyone else. I think it was his best game this season. He was just so dangerous when he got the ball. He got 30.5 on Superbrew. Um, I think that's the highest for any guy in this team. Uh, one try, 145 meters from 11 carries. Um, beating three defenders and having two clean breaks. Another guy I have to mention, Beal, he also had an excellent game. Um, he's been stepping up and in that fullback role um, since the controversy with Falau, which made him um, being terminated from his contract. But since then, Beal has been good on 15 for the Warren Stars. That's it for the week, guys. If you want to join the pool or see the Facebook page, it is down in the description below. Please check out the videos here on my left. Yet again, thanks for the 100 subs. Cheers.